In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The litany of the most precious blood of Jesus. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Blood of Christ, only begotten Son of the Eternal Father. Save us. Blood of Christ, incarnate Word of God. Save us. Blood of Christ, of the New and Eternal Testament. Save us. Blood of Christ, falling upon the earth in the agony. Blood of Christ shed profusely in the scourging. Save us. Blood of Christ flowing forth in the crowning with thorns. Save us. Blood of Christ poured out on the cross. Save us. Blood of Christ, price of our salvation. Save Blood of Christ, without which there is no forgiveness. Save us. Blood of Christ, Eucharistic drink and refreshment of souls. Save us. Blood of Christ, dream of mercy. Save us. Blood of Christ, victor over demons. Save Blood of Christ, courage of martyrs. Save us. Blood of Christ, strength of confessors. Save us. Blood of Christ, bringing forth virgins. Save us. Blood of Christ, help of those in peril. Save us. Blood of Christ, relief of the burdened. Save us. Blood of Christ, solace in sorrow. Save us. Blood of Christ, hope of the penitent. Save us. Blood of Christ, consolation of the dying. Save us. Blood of Christ, peace and tenderness of hearts. Blood of Christ, pledge of eternal life. Save us. Blood of Christ, freeing souls from purgatory. Save us. Blood of Christ, most worthy of all glory and honor. Save us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Save us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You have redeemed us, O Lord, in your blood. And made us the kingdom of our God. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, you have appointed your only begotten Son, the Redeemer of the world and willed to be appeased by his blood. Grant, we beg of you, that we may worthily adore this price of our salvation, and through its power be safeguarded from the evils of the present life, so that we may rejoice in its fruits forever in heaven, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Hi, everybody. I'm Dr. Ray Garendi, the host of Living Right with Dr. Ray. In my newest book, Living Calm, Mastering Anger and Frustration, I want to help you understand the who, what, when, where, and why of anger and all its emotional buddies, exasperation, irritation, agitation, and how powerful our thoughts can be in fueling these negative feelings. More importantly, in calming them. Living Calm, Mastering Anger and Frustration by Dr. Ray Garendi, the latest release from EWTN Publishing. Now available at EWTNRC.com or call 1-800-854-6316. Family, a prayer that we pray together is a powerful prayer. So please pray together with me our EWTN family prayer. Today we pray for mothers. Heavenly Father, we worship you, our Creator. You have revealed your tender love for us through the love of our mothers. Bless our mothers and reward them for their sacrificial love. Grant consolation and strength to mothers who are exhausted, those struggling to hold their families together, and those in difficult marriages. Bless our mothers, Lord, and grant eternal rest to those who have died. Let men and women who never knew a mother's love come to know that of Mary, your mother. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the community of the Holy Spirit be with you all. <laughs> Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, what I have done 
and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask us, Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. you, Almighty God, that at the intercession of blessed Leopold Mandich, you may multiply your gifts among us and order our days in your peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. From Pamphus, Paul and his companions set sail and arrived at Perga in Pamphylia. But John left them and returned to Jerusalem. They continued on for Perga and reached Antioch and Bethsaida. On the Sabbath, they entered into the synagogue and took their seats. After the reading of the law and the prophets, the synagogue officials sent word to them, My brothers, if one of you has a word of exhortation, for the people, please speak. So Paul got up, motioned with his hand, and said, Fellow children of Israel, and you others who are God-fearing, listen. The God of this people, Israel, chose, an ans chose our ancestors and exalted the people during their sojourn in the land of Egypt. With uplifted arm, he led them out. And for about 40 years, he put up with them in the desert. When he had destroyed seven nations in the land of Cana, he gave them their land as an inheritance at the end of about 450 years. After these things, he provided judges up to Samuel, the prophet. Then they asked for a king. God gave them Saul, son of Kish, a man from the tribe of Benjamin, for 40 years. Then he removed him and raised up David as their king. Of him he testified. I have found David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. He will carry out my every wish. From this man's descendants, God, according to his promise, has brought to Israel a Savior, Jesus. John heralded his coming by proclaiming a baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. And as John was completing his course, he would say, what do you suppose that I am? I am not he. Behold, one is coming after me. I am not worthy to unfasten the sandals of his feet. Verbum Domini. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The favors of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said my kindness is established forever. In heaven you have confirmed your faithfulness. I will sing the goodness of the Lord. I have found David my servant, 
With my holy oil I have anointed him, that my hand may be always with him, and that my arm may make him strong. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him, and through my name shall his horn be exalted. He shall say of me, You are my Father, my God, the Rock, my Savior. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. When Jesus had washed the disciples' feet, he said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, no slave is greater than his master nor any messenger greater than the one who sent him. If you understand this, blessed are you if you do it. I am not speaking of all of you. I know those whom I have chosen, but so that the scripture might be fulfilled, the one who ate my food has raised his heel against me. From now on, I am telling you before it happens, so that when it happens, you may believe that I am. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever receives the one I send receives me, and whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. Verbum Domini. Today in Acts of the Apostles, Paul recounts salvation history. And speaking of King David, he said, quoting scripture, he said, I have found David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. He will carry out my every wish. This phrase, a man after my own heart, is used in the Psalms and scripture to describe <clears throat> David, King David. He was the the second king, Saul was the first king anointed, David's the second, and easily the greatest king. He had a 40 year reign, <clears throat> over a thousand years uh, before Christ. And he's a man after God's heart. We know that some of the most powerful and poignant moments in the Old Testament is his sin and repentance, you know, with Bathsheba. He, he sinned in a big way. You know, he coldly had Bathsheba's husband uh, assassinated, we could say, you know, abandoned in the military uh, conflict, left alone to, to die at the hands of the enemy. And, you know, it's chilling. It's chilling to see, you know, that decision David made. But he deeply repented and he, he accepted his penance from the Lord, you know, for that, that sin. So he sinned in a big way, but he repented in a big way. We could say he was almost the only king to never at some point turn away from God, to follow after the false idols. 
And some interpret that's what this phrase means, that his heart was always toward the Lord. Yes, a sinner, but repenting of his sin and, and getting up again. And towards the end of the life, end of his life, he wanted to build a temple for the Lord. And Nathan the prophet <clears throat> told him it wasn't for him, that he, you know, he, had, he had spilled too much blood. But he gave him a great word of consolation. He said, the Lord has this message that, you know, you build me a house. He said, I will build you a house, a dynasty, you know, of his descendants, of his kingdom that will last forever. He makes this incredible covenant with David that you know no you're not going to build me a house I'm going to build you one and through that dynasty comes the Messiah comes Jesus he's from the house of David so we see that that heart of David I think is the one you know if it's a heart like God it's a man after his own heart it's a heart of humility Jesus tells us in the gospel you know learn from me for I am meek and humble of heart. You come to me, all you who are labored, heavy burden, learn from me, I'm meek and humble of heart. And that humility seems to be a very precious virtue of Christianity. <clears throat> you know, it's extolled throughout the scriptures that we are to have this humility. And I think at the root of it comes this reverence towards God, this faith in God that you know, we are cre his creature, that he is the source of all good. He is the source of grace. He gives us that grace to do good. So we have this, this deep dependence on God for our very existence and being and for every good thing that we do. And we set, we're called to set our hearts on the Lord. Yes, amidst human brokenness and weakness, but to keep pursuing him, to to keep coming to him as the gospel is exhorting us to do. And I think the saint today that we celebrate, a Franciscan Saint Leopold Mandich, really exemplifies this humility. He, he died in 1942, he's a Capuchin friar, he served most of his life in Padua in Italy. He had a Croatian background and he was very short of stature, only four foot five, suffered from birth deformities, something of a speech impediment, he stammered, I had chronic arthritis, and was something of a real scholar. He studied petrology and, and uh, was a great Mariologist. And, and he wanted to be a, a missionary in Eastern Europe to serve and the reunification of the churches between the Orthodox and Latin Rite Church. But because of his frail health, he couldn't go to the missions. And he said, I will be a missionary here in obedience in the exercise of my ministry. Every soul who seeks my ministry will meanwhile be my orient, will be the east, you know, be his mission territory. And he was a great confessor. He's one of the patrons, I think it was John Paul II, named him one of the patrons of confessors. And I often pray to him when I'm hearing confessions, you know, to ask for his intercession. I got to go to Padua once, and you could see uh, the monastery where he was at, and his confessional <clears throat> area, they said, was freezing in the winter and stifling you know, in the summer and you know, did long hours of work and people would come to him from all over for his spiritual advice. He had great spiritual wisdom. And he spent most of his 52 years of his priesthood as a hero hearing confessions. He would often say that God's mercy is greater than any expectation. His mercy is greater than what we can even imagine and expect. And we've all experienced that, right? God's working in our life in a surprising way, and he gives us something more beautiful than we expected. You know, maybe an awareness of his presence, his closeness, or some work he's asked us to do, some fruitfulness that he draws out of it. As a small boy, he was yelled at in confession. And maybe this 
marked him and made a deep impression on him because he was, he himself was gentle and always gave a few words of advice and consolation. Even though he was very learned, he actually at some points taught philosophy and theology uh, to the novices and the Capuchins. He would give few words of advice and some, and some encouragement, a word of encouragement. He would tell people things like, everyone has a mission. We all have a work to do for the Lord. He would tell them, pray as best you can. I love that expression, you know, do the best you can, and if you can't, then do the best you can, right? <laughs> you know, to always have that desire to do better, we're not gonna get it perfect. We have a fallen human nature. We have the world, the flesh, and devil tearing at us. Do the best you can. He would exhort priests that they, a priest, he would say, cannot be saved unless he works hard for souls. He would exhort them to make the offering of the Mass the center of their spiritual life. To a novice mistress, he once wrote, he said, when people write the lives of the saints, they usually write one long lie. They should write everything about them, their repugnance, their difficulties, the struggles they had to keep themselves holy, even their falls and faults. Instead, far too often, they only write about their virtues as though, as though they were impeccable and free from the effects of original sin. Only our Blessed Lady had that privilege. Tell your novices so that they will be able to continue in the way of perfection without losing heart on account of their faults. You know, I think David was a model of this. You know, he sinned. It's recorded in scripture, you know, to the end of time. <clears throat> but would repent deeply and try to serve the Lord again. To a young man, he once said, my son, temptation doesn't respect even my gray beard nor my habit. You know, temptation is not sin. He would exhort many to have faith, everything will be all right. Faith, faith, he would say. And one of the most beautiful quotes, I think, about our Blessed Mother, he would say, we have in heaven the heart of a mother, the Virgin, our mother, who at the foot of the cross suffered as much as possible for a human creature, understands our troubles and consoles us. He would write that, you know, in her we see this perfection due to a fruit of God's grace she was immaculately conceived and did not commit sin her whole life. And her suffering on Calvary was a moral cause of our redemption, meaning that she willingly united her sufferings with her son, who in justice satisfied for our sins, made satisfaction for our sins. But she willingly, with that heart of a mother, united her deep sufferings there for our redemption. She was the Immaculate Conception. She was preserved from sin. But yet, in great love for her son and for us, you know, she, be, she has become our mother and interceding for us and drawing from that redemption uh, that grace to give to us as the Mediatrix of all grace. We have these beautiful witnesses of, of humility and we're called to turn to the Lord in humility to seek that grace, to seek that hope that we need uh, for a holy and good life. Let us rejoice to the full in the glory that Christ has purchased for us, and let us offer the Father our grateful prayers. That the Church may guide the people of God to that true freedom which can only be attained through adherence to the will of our Father, we pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. That our Holy Father may enjoy the constant guidance and counsel of God in his undertakings for the welfare and growth of the church, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the world leaders will have the wisdom to see that human life is the greatest treasure and that they may work to protect and enhance this gift, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, the dying, the homeless, the poor, and the forgotten, that they will know their true dignity in the sight of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, that after their earthly life, they may come to share in the glory of everlasting life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Eternal Father, we thank you for the resurrection of your Son, which conquered sin and destroyed death. Grant us the grace of a deeper faith in the mystery of our redemption. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings placed on your altar in commemoration of blessed Leopold Mandich, so that as you brought him glory, you may, through these sacred mysteries, Grant to us your pardon through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Leopold, you bid your church rejoice. So too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working, <clears throat> working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mysterium Fidei. celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. 
Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. You may make of us an eternal offering to you so we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Leopold, and with all the saints on his constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Stephen, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you've gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Per ipsum et cum ipso et in ipso, es dibideo patri omnipotenti, en unitate spiritu sancti, omnis honor et gloria, per omnia secula secula hordrum. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, now worthy to enter into the room. say the word of the solution.
Blessed is the servant whom the Lord finds watching when he comes. Amen, I say to you, he will put that servant in charge of all his property. Alleluia. For those who cannot now receive Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament, we offer the following prayer. I believe that you, O oh Jesus, are in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you and desire you. Come into my heart, I embrace you. O oh, never, never leave me. May the burning and most sweet power of your love, O oh Lord Jesus, I beseech you, absorb my mind, that I may die through love of your love, who were graciously pleased to die through love of my love. Amen. Oh. 
Let us pray. <clears throat> May partaking at the heavenly table, Almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high and all who celebrate the feast day of blessed Leopold, that we may preserve in integrity the gift of faith and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.
O oh God, I love you with my whole heart above all things, because you are infinitely good. And for your sake, I love my neighbor as I love myself. Amen. Have a seat. Thanks, Father. Son. What's bothering you? Well, Father, my uh, girlfriend back home, she wrote me a letter. She's uh, cut me loose. I'm gonna marry a good friend of mine from back home. She uh, even invited me to the wedding. Son, in life there are things we can't control. I know it's tough. There are things that you'll never be able to forget. I know we live in a hell here. How much longer on your tour? About two months now. Okay, okay. Well, one of these hells will end in two months. And the other one that's in you, festering inside you, will end when you become peaceful within yourself. You need to find peace, son, okay? There's nothing you can do. It's hard to be here for months on end and our lives don't change at home. 
All lives change, son. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. EWT Live Truth Live Catholic. EWTN invites you to join us in this rosary as we pray for peace in Ukraine. During this month of devotions to the Blessed Virgin Mary, we will continue to pray the Holy Rosary which she recommended to us in our apparitions at Fatima and Lourdes. After offering this spiritual bouquet of roses to Mary, we will then seek her aid and protection using a prayer of St. Bernard of Clairvaux. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell on the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he shall come to judge the living and the dead. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. You love us this day, our day, and forgive us Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. And as it was in the beginning, it is now, and it shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, rid us of the sins, and save us from the evil of the sins. 
The Luminous Mysteries, the first mystery, the baptism of Jesus in the River Jordan. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Lord of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Lord of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, great blessings, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, great blessings, now and at the hour of our Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world of that end. Amen. O my Jesus, Holy give us our sins. Save, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who must be in mystery, Jesus performs his first miracle at the request of his mother at the wedding feast of Cana. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Thou holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Thou holy Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins. mystery, the proclamation of the kingdom of God. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, and as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, now, and shall be, O my Jesus. mystery, the transfiguration. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of thy death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of thy death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, the world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Read out all the souls of hell, especially those who most need of our sins. Institution of the Eucharist. 
Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and it shall be. Lord, thou be in thy name. O my Jesus, Lord, forgive us our sins, and save us from all our sins. Reveal the souls of us, and to the show of us, and to the spread of thy mercy. intentions of the Holy Father. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us sinners, and for us to be. 
the prayer to Our Lady by Saint Bernard of Clairvaux. Run, hasten, O Lady, and in your mercy help your sinful servant who calls upon you, and deliver us from the hands of the enemy. Who will not sigh to you? We sigh with love and grief, for we are oppressed on every side. How can we do otherwise than sigh to you? O solace of the miserable, refuge of outcasts, ransom of captives, we are certain that when you see our miseries, your compassion will hasten to relieve us. O oh, our Sovereign Lady and our Advocate, commend us to your Son. Grant, O oh, Blessed One, by the grace which you have merited, that he through you was graciously pleased to become a partaker of our infirmity and misery. May also through your intercession make us partakers of his happiness and glory. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. When I was growing up, there was not the remotest thought that I would ever be a sister it wasn't even in the realm of possibility. I'm a daughter of a truck driver with two brothers. My relatives are cattlemen and truck drivers. We don't do church stuff. We just didn't, it wasn't possible. So when our sisters who taught me gave the advice that we should pray three Hail Marys every night before we go to bed so that we would know our vocation, I thought that was great advice for the other 53 kids in the class because I already knew my vocation. I was gonna get married. When I was in seventh grade, my girlfriends invited me to a, go to a retreat with them, and I asked them what a retreat was, and they said, never mind, you'll enjoy it. Bring candy, soda pop, and your transistor radio. So I translated that to, ah, it's a Catholic summer party. I can do that. I went to the retreat and acted as if I was in a slumber party. I was not participative. I am not proud of this, but the truth of the matter is, I, I never entered into the retreat. When I left, I experienced an unsettledness in my heart. 